Hey guys, it's your girl Shan and welcome back to my channel. Now today I have another review and unboxing for you guys and I cannot wait to show you what's in the box. You may still be able to get your hands on this pair if you are quick. So let me show you what's in the box and then we'll get into the details on the other side. So today we have the Air Force One Fur Tongue and this shoe released as a women's release and actually I managed to pick these up only about two days ago. Um, they came online from size at the retail of £95. Now I know they did release about a week and a half ago so they have been on the shelf for a little while which I'm surprised about because they are a really good shoe. I didn't know actually when I first saw them online about a week ago that they did have the detail of the fur tongue and so I wasn't actually sure about the colour blocking which is why it took me a while to pick them up but on doing a little bit more research and realising there was that extra detail of the fur tongue I knew this was a pair that I had to add to my collection so here we are. So if like me you weren't sure about picking up this shoe I'm hoping that this review will give you a better insight into some of the details so you can get your hands on a pair because I know they are flying off the shelf fast so if you do want a pair stay tuned for this review and then make your decision at the end where i will leave purchase links in the description box below so let's get into the finer details and we will start with the sole which is in this kind of gray color so the sole of the shoe is that classic air force one sole that we all know from the air force one and obviously the midsole with the air but it is in this like gray kind of off white kind of color which is quite nice. And I do think that adds a little bit of uniformity with the upper. So it does really go quite nicely. Of course, you've got the concealed air in the midsole, which is gonna add to some comfort. Now the upper has got this tumbled leather and it features the light bone color, which is this kind of gray, almost stone kind of color. Um, on the upper and that's on the foxing, the heel foxing and the toe box and also around the eye stays. So you can see that. Now I think this does work as kind of a neutral, almost winter shoe because these neutral colours are really in at the moment, not just in sneakers, but across fashion. I went shopping the other day and literally every single item of clothing, shirts, jackets, joggers, coats, are all in these like neutral tones. So I guess Nike have stayed true to kind of this season's colours and have released this shoe, which I think is really, really nice. On point, good neutral colour blocking. So if you turn to the heel then, you've got this kind of yellow Nike Air tab on the heel which is kind of random actually that yellow but it does actually go with the obviously the colors on the shoe and then the actual detail that i really wanted to show you was the fur tongue but before we get to that you actually get two pairs of laces actually already laced into the shoe so i haven't touched this from taking out of the box you literally get two sets of laces which are in this kind of grey colour which isn't exactly matching the light bone that you've got on the upper but it does work because it's all in that neutral colour palette and that's mixed in with a white lace which you guys can see. Okay the only problem is that these laces are not the same length so this is the grey lace and then this is the white lace. So you can see they are literally two different lengths. So I suppose if you were gonna keep them laced up, you'd have to find a very innovative way of 
lacing them with two separate length laces and different colours. I don't know. I reckon for me, I'll be taking the laces out. I'm not sure which colour I'll keep in yet, but I'll let you guys know. Or you can check it out on my Instagram once I do style them. I'm going to take a minute just to unlace them so you can really see the de details on the fur tongue. And then I'll be back in one second. Okay, so having unlaced them, I can actually show you now that the actual fur tongue. So it's like in a light gray, it's got like brown, almost brown tones on it. Again, keeping with this neutral color palette. And then of course you get the uh, heel tab. Of course you get the tongue uh patch which has the nike air force one logo in gray so of course again keeping in with this gray almost stone neutral colorway now i love this detail on this shoe i absolutely love this fur tongue like i don't know i just feel like the upper could have been any color and i would have bought it because i love a bit of fur if you know me and you've seen some of my styling stuff on my website and on my Instagram, you'll know that I have like fur hoodies. Oh, I just I just love fur. So very in, very winter and very now and on trend. And I think Nike have done a fantastic job with this pair. I think sometimes like with women's releases, I think we get like these really bright pink colours sometimes and it's like so obviously feminine. But just adding a bit of fur to a neutral palette has made this shoe quite nice and girly, but still with that like, I don't know, like the, the boldness that you normally get with a classic Air Force One. I love this design, honestly, absolutely great, amazing pickup. So as for the quality and craftsmanship then, we've got good tumbled leather on the upper and the tumbled leather features across all of the panels, which is really nice. It kind of gives it that dull leather look, but again, maintaining good quality and premium materials. So that's really nice. As for the craftsmanship then, uh, some slight glue stains, but nothing like crazy. Um, quite well put together shoe, considering there are quite a few different details on here. And yeah, like hardly any stitches out of place. So you guys can hopefully see that. So Nike are doing really well with their Air Force One releases, actually. I'm quite impressed with the ones that I have picked up this season. So yeah, another really good pickup. As for sizing, these are a size three. And as you know, for Air Forces, I always recommend you half size down. You don't want crazy creasing on the toe box. And yeah, they can come up kind of big. So you do want to be half sizing down. So these are a women's UK three. As for comfort, I find Air Force is very comfortable. For some people, they are quite bulky and weighty, so it just depends on how you find the Air Force One. But most of us have got a pair of Air Force Ones already in our collection, so I will allow you guys to make that comparison and kind of, um, you'll have your own opinions on the comfort of an Air Force One. But a great shoe to pick up for winter. With the tumbled leather and the fact that it's quite a good premium leather, you will be able to wear these in the colder months, which I think is really nice because you've got this fur tongue, which we all love a bit of fur for winter. I just think these are really great shoe. I'm really impressed with this pickup and I will leave the links below in the description box for anyone who wants to get their hands on a pair and maybe didn't realise the amazing details and quality on this pair. So... I haven't managed to style these yet, but I will be styling them as usual on my Instagram. So please do head over to Shan's Got Soul on Instagram if you would like to see my other sneaker content, styling content, and keep up to date with my latest pickups. I'll be back soon, guys, and I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you have, then don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. It's your girl, Shan. Peace.